It appears that all over the world there have been mysterious discoveries. Certain regions on our planet hide strange and wondrous mysteries that are not only difficult to explain, but seem to defy preconceived notions about science, history, and the world itself. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at five discoveries science still can't explain. The Solomon Island Giants Over the years, there have been many stories of giants. These tales are said to have been told by North American Indians, and they speak of giant men who once lived and roamed in the lands of their forefathers. Over the last 100 years, stories about giants have come from the Solomon Islands. Researchers who spent time on the island were told stories from the native people, and they detailed mysterious encounters with giant men who would occasionally interact with the nearby people. The Solomon Islands are located in the South Pacific. A man named Marius is a researcher who was told about the tales of giants while on the island. After asking around, the locals began to open up to him and tell him stories of the giants. Incredibly, the natives spoke of giant humanoids that stood over 10 feet tall, while others shared stories of giants that reached even greater heights. The descriptions of the giants share a common theme. They are believed to have long reddish hair, protruding double eyebrows, bulging red eyeballs, flat noses, and wide gaping mouths. These stories have even reached newspapers. One local was interviewed, and they told the story of a giant that left a footprint in a nearby construction site. One native told the story of a local woman named Mango, who had a run-in with these giants. The story goes that she had been taken by these mysterious humanoids and taken to an unknown location. A search party was sent out, but they weren't able to find any trace of her. The case eventually went cold and the locals soon moved on with their lives. However, several years later, the woman turned up alive. After trying to get information about what happened though, the locals quickly realized that she wasn't the same person after being taken. As of today, the mystery giants of the Solomon Islands remain a mystery. The Origin of the Prehistoric Stone Spheres of Costa Rica The stone balls were first introduced back in 1971 by famed ancient alien author Eric von Daniken in his cult classic novel known as The Chariots of the Gods. Though the discovery of those stone spheres go as far back as the 1940s, Located and scattered throughout the jungles of Costa Rica, these spheres were originally found in the delta of the Taraba River, but followed as far away north as the Estrella Valley and as far south as the mouth of the Coto Colorado River. This appears to be no easy feat, however, as the objects were massive, most of them being as large as roughly 2 meters in diameter and weighing more than 16 tons. In ancient Costa Rican myth, as well as evidence found by archaeologists, it was originally believed that these spheres served a purpose by matching constellations in the sky and that, according to these myths, represented the constellation of which the gods had arrived from. The ancient astronaut community believed that the spheres could have served as a primitive star map, depicting a very specific constellation as told by the ancient gods in an attempt to show us their home planet when the time was right. Unfortunately, the Costa Rican stone spheres when discovered, were either moved from their original location by archaeologists and researchers, or blown up by treasure seekers, believing the stone spheres to contain ancient artifacts, priceless antiques, or gold treasures that could be sold on the black market. It is due to this that the true nature and archaeological context of the scattered spheres is completely lost for the foreseeable future, and though there may be a handful of stones still in their original location, hundreds of others have been completely destroyed removed or washed away by flooding in the region altogether. Even though the surviving stones could still prove to be useful regarding archaeological context and discovery, for some strange reason, the discovery has gone wildly unnoticed and completely ignored since its original finding back in the 1940s. Antarctica Mysterious Humming Noise Antarctica is shrouded in mystery. It's known for its harsh climate and beautiful wildlife. Each year, research is carried out on the continent and experiments are conducted. 
The Ross Ice Shelf is the largest ice shelf of Antarctica. It's the world's largest piece of floating ice and can be seen in the Southern Ocean in line with the mainland. For many years now, research has been carried out to get a better idea of its physical properties. Scientists had placed over 30 extremely sensitive seismic sensors under its snowy surface to monitor vibrations between 2014 and 2017, but something was picked up that left them looking for answers. Testimonies and video footage show that a mysterious humming sound can be heard. This noise was created by the structure itself. It was confusing, however, because there was nothing around that could be giving off these noises. After all, these sensors were embedded inside thick blankets of snow. Researchers in the region have suggested it could be the ice sheet that's creating the mysterious hum. However, as of today, the noise remains a mystery. The Accounts of the Sea People Though there were many ancient civilizations that had existed during the 12th century BC, Suddenly and quite unexpectedly, nearly every civilization was wiped from the face of the earth except the cities of Egypt. This phenomenon was recorded as the Late Bronze Age collapse that soon bled into the early Greek Dark Ages as only small villages of humanity survived this sudden catastrophe. For many decades, the cause of such an occurrence had widely been unknown and shrouded in mystery. That was until the ancient language of the Egyptian hieroglyphics had been decoded and allowed us to read the historical records captured at the time by the last standing ancient civilization. This record has led to countless theories and endless debate amongst Egyptologists, classic historians and archaeologists since its findings. Reportedly, by the historical accounts of the ancient Egyptians, armies of what had been referred to at the time as Sea People attacked and demolished the cities of man. In fact, the descriptions of the armies of the Sea People describe monsters and giants coming from the oceans and waging war against all of civilization. The reasoning for why this sudden onslaught had occurred has yet to be better understood. But what is all the more surprising is the vast conspiracy surrounding the events. Accounts continue of the Egyptians attempting to track the source of the beasts that appeared humanoid in nature and found hundreds of footprints leaving and coming from the beaches of the Mediterranean Sea. Today, after uncovering vast art depicting the battles, documents detailing the events, and further evidence of war and tactics used against the destroyed and forgotten civilizations of the past, the proof of the account of the Sea People appears to be overwhelming in nature. As a matter of fact, the events are so overwhelming that the discussion surrounding the event in the scientific community has been completely shut down and further theories or attempts at uncovering the truth are treated with both disdain and ridicule. Regardless of this ridicule, however, many researchers continue to attempt to understand the mysteries of the Sea People and remain restless in their pursuits. Perhaps one day we will better understand whether these accounts are of mythology or true history. Until then, the accounts of the Sea People are shrouded in creepy events and terrifying mysteries. Fire Chief Discovers Mystery Hole The Volunteer Fire Protection District in Arkansas recently received a strange call. The Fire Chief, Mr. Tucker, was called out after someone had said there was flames coming from a hole in the ground. When he arrived, he discovered that there was a large hole in the ground with flames coming out. Tucker had this to say. When I got there, there were flames eight or nine feet high shooting out of a hole about two feet in diameter. It burned that way for 30 to 45 minutes before it went out. While observing the hole, he couldn't help but notice the hole had a sharp turn in it. Tucker revealed he had taken the temperature inside the hole and it was around 780 degrees. He was asked what he thought about it and what could have made this hole spit out flames, but he said he did not know. One of the first things people pointed to was a meteorite. However, Tucker said that it was unlikely that this was the case. The fire chief pointed out that there was no sign of any meteorite strike at the site, with no signs of dirt having been scuffed up or splashed around the hole's edges. Another idea that was put forward was lightning storms. However, when this hole was created, there were no lightning storms in the area, so this has been ruled out. Tucker suggested that the hole could have come from a gas company, 
While there were no signs of the flames and fire being caused by a gas explosion, the chief said that the local gas company did arrive on the scene to take photographs of the hole. The company was asked about the entire situation and they said they had sent out one of their technicians. A spokesman for the company said the following, Although Black Hills Energy does not provide natural gas service in Midway, Arkansas, the local fire department contacted us to assist with their fire investigation. Our technicians responded and detected no natural gas in the area. We will continue to partner with the fire department in their investigation as needed. But what do you make of these mysterious discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.